Here's an example of collinear FACO where FACO power can only be applied after full deployment through foot position 2 when we have the highest levels of vacuum. In this situation there's a high negative pressure in the tubing and a high pr pressure in the anterior chamber which can lead to a post occlusion surge. The surgeon here expertly manages the situation by leaving the FACO needle in the eye and filling with viscoelastic to help prevent expansion of the posterior capsular rupture but with a collinear system, this is a complication that we must always consider and take steps to avoid it. In this case, you'll see the benefits of using a dual linear system. As you can see, this is a very dense nucleus with a zonular dialysis, and for this complex case, I'm going to use a stop and chop technique, and I'll be using the dual linear foot pedal for greater control throughout the case. I've already preset the maximum vacuum levels in the pitch position to help prevent surge like we saw in the last case, but I'm going to have the option to increase vacuum on demand by utilizing the yaw or the lateral position on the foot pedal at my preselected vacuum of 100. It should be noted that the lateral or yaw position can be set for additional FACO power or vacuum, whichever the surgeon prefers. Once I switch over to the nucleus removal, my pitch vacuum settings will be at 300 and the yaw setting will give an extra 100. As the FACO needle is buried into the hemi-nucleus, I will engage the dual linear system to hold on to the nucleus with 400 millimeters of vacuum, holding a firm grip for chopping. And after the nucleus is chopped, I'll stay in the yaw position to easily pull it out, the quadrant out and up into the central safety zone. Once the quadrant is released from the surrounding nucleus, it can be FACO emulsified in the pitch position where the vacuum is preset to achieve maximum levels of 300. This gives the surgeon only the necessary vacuum to clear the nucleus and help prevent post-occlusion surge. Here again you can see the strong holding power of the Stellaris system, utilizing as much vacuum as needed for chopping in the yaw position, and then coming back to the pitch position for lower vacuum levels to remove the nucleus and help prevent surge, especially during removal of the last pieces of nuclear material where nothing prevents the posterior capsule from jumping up to the phaco needle during post-occlusion surge events. Thanks to this dual linear system, the vacuum is low at the bottom of foot position too, so that the last pieces can be safely emulsified. A CTR is then placed for the dialysis, and the eye is now ready for an intraocular lens. This is Dr. Timothy Page at Oakland Ophthalmic Surgery. Thank you.